Hey everyone, in this video we are going to cover a very basic but essential topic for anyone starting out with ThingsBoard and the ESP32. We walk through how to send telemetry from a simulated ESP32 directly to ThingsBoard. For this demo, we'll be using Walkway for the simulation and Platform IO as our development environment. But you can absolutely follow along using your own ESP32 and the Arduino IDE if you prefer. So if you're ready, let's jump right in. Before we start, I prepared a repository so you can follow the video more easily. So there you will find all the code we use in this video. Um, the idea of the repo is to show you the simplest example of how to send telemetry to ThingsBoard. As you might know, there are different ways to send and receive information between a sensor and ThingsBoard. So you can send telemetry, you can send and receive attributes, and you can also send and receive RPC methods. So in this video, we will focus only on telemetry. If you want to see a video where all the methods are working, I will leave the link in the video description. So once we clone the code and open it in our editor, so the first thing we will see is in the source folder uh, where you can find our main program. Also, then we have the platform that init file where you can see the platform, the board, the framework, and the library dependency. For example, here you can see uh, we are using the things board uh, version number 14. That's very important. And also, if you, you will see the diagram that JSON, which we will use for the simulations. So let's start with the main file and let's talk about a little bit here. Okay, so let's see what we have here. Uh, in the first part for our code, uh, you will see that we are going to define some libraries that we are going to use. For example, if you are using ESP8266, we are going to use this library for Wi-Fi connections. But in our case, we are going to use the ESP32. So we are going to use this Wi-Fi uh, library. Also, we are going to use the Arduino MQTT client library from our MQTT client connections. And the most important part, so the things for library that we are going to use to send telemetry. But you can also use for attributes, RPC commands. So uh, it's very, very useful library for our, for our example, for our projects. Uh, in the second part, you will see uh, we define some uh, constants that is very necessary for connect uh, to our Wi-Fi connections and also for our things for configurations. Uh, you will need to fill these four uh, constants that is the Wi-Fi SSID, the Wi-Fi password, the token, and the things for server. Obviously, it depends on uh, where is your things for configuration running. If you are using the things for that close, so you, you need to put the things for that clock here. But if you are using a things for a local version, you might need to change the directions. And also we have another constant that we define the telemetry send interval time. For example, here you can see we are defined three seconds, but you can play around here, for example, putting five or 10 seconds is up to you guys. And the most important part is we need to define the things for a client instance and in order to do that we first need to create a wi-fi client instance and then we need to create a mqtt client instance and as the parameters you can see uh, we will need the mqtt client instance and the max message size in order to create our things for client instance so once we have our things for client created, so we are able to send telemetry, we are able to send attributes and also handle RPCC commands. Yeah, it's very useful library for our project. Okay guys, so once we have everything defined here, so we are going to be using our Wi-Fi library in order to connect to our Wi-Fi. And you can see here, you will find these two functions that is gonna to be working on the Wi-Fi connections. As you can see here, we have our Wi-Fi SSID as well our Wi-Fi password in order to start the Wi-Fi connections. And for another side, we also have another function that is called get random temperature 
that is going to be generating some random temperature values between 18, uh, 18 and 35 degrees Celsius. This is, this is a function that we will use to simulate some data and then to send to Thingsboard. All right, guys, so let's look at what we have in our setup function. As you can see here, we initialize our serial. Also, uh, we initialize our random C in order to obtain random temperature values. And then in the last part, we initialize our Wi-Fi connections. You also will see our load function here. Uh, in the first part, we are checking our Wi-Fi connection. If everything is working well, we are checking our things for connections. And then in the last part, we are sending telemetry data at regular intervals. If you remember, we are sending telemetry each three seconds. Um, but here, for example, you can see first we generate some values and we storage that values in this variable. And then we uh, use the things for object client in order to use the send telemetry data method that it requires for two parameters. One parameter is the key and another is the value. So this is the, the method or the main method that we uh, should use in order to send telemetry data to things for. Okay guys, so now that we have reviewed with all the code, let's test it by sending some temperature values to things for. So to do that, uh, let me first go to the things for platform. Um, let me create a new device very quickly. I will put in here ESP32, I don't know, telemetry. Uh, click on add, create a new device, close these windows. And then you can see uh, here in the latest telemetry tab section, we have nothing. And then I will copy the access token and I return my code and I will change this token and put it here. Also, you can check here, uh, we are using things for that clown platform and just save the code. I will click on build. Right now, um, we are building our code and generating our binary file just <clears throat> we need to wait some time we are compiling this is the uh yeah this is the direction for our compile and then we should wait some minutes to start uh doing the simulation okay uh, we successfully create a esp32 image uh go to the diagram and then clean up the start simulation. You can see here the serial port. We are uh, using this example. Well, we already have the Wi-Fi connected. We also connected the things port and we are sending some telemetry values. Uh, like you can see here, temperature 31, 26. So let me check in things port go to the latest telemetry and as you can see here we are receiving some temperature values um yeah so well this is uh very quickly how you can send telemetry to things for if also you can go to the dashboard click on here create a new dashboard i don't know my new dash um click on charts for example, I will use these line charts, select our device, click on add, and you will see how our ESP32 is sending telemetry values. All right, everyone, that's it for today's video. This was a quick and simple tutorial to help you get started and practice sending telemetry data to things for. Uh, there are many other ways to send data to things for using an ESP32. For example, we can use attributes and also we can use remote commands to devices that is called RPC. So I'll be making separate videos on each of those topics since they are essential if you are working with things for an ESP32. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.